I'm going to share 10 or so slightly different lighting setups using the same product scene. This is the product scene. The goal is to showcase different ways to achieve a similar result. Then from any of those, you can modify it to perfect the look you're going for and or to add some interest. These are all very similar, but the source light may be slightly different or the application, like how the light is used might be slightly different. That is all so that you have flexibility based on what you have available to you and or what it is you're trying to achieve at the end. So we are going to go through these, but take note that these are straight out of camera. Very little attention was given to perfecting white balance or even even perfecting like the lighting it itself. It's more of a concept share than anything. So I hope you understand that. It's more of a showing the idea <laughs> and then you can you can play with that from that point forward. If you like one of these ideas in particular, I can do a more in-depth video of just that kind of setup. Just let me know. Also, if you hear my AC going off, you're just going to have to deal with it. It's 110 degrees today. Before we actually jump in, let's quickly take a look at the, the product scene that we're working with. For our styled scene, we are going to use this candle. It has a branded matchbox, so I thought I would put that there, or matchbook rather, and this is a rock found somewhere around where I live years ago and a couple of pine cones. I did use a riser of swords, hard to tell, but there is a little like, I don't know, HDMI cap or something. Maybe it's an ethernet cap, I'm not sure. And then under the product, hard to see, that's the point, um, <laughs> is some putty, which I can't show you because it is holding the product in place here. So really simple, just wanted to keep it simple for the purpose of this video. Okay, first up we have the box of shame. <laughs> it's a two light setup and it goes like this. This setup utilizes the box of shame, which I already had set up for another shoot. So not necessarily where I would begin with lighting this setup, but this is an option I thought I would point out. So we have the box of shame and um, we have an extra layer of diffusion here. And this is a two light setup. So we have a light in the back here. This is a constant video light back here, a Godox, I think, what is this, VL300. This is illuminating the background. And then we have the strobe here, which is illuminating the product. I have a video talking about this setup here with the strobe and the diffusion, the scrim. Um, I'll link that. So that is the setup here. Next, we have the diffused strobe setup. For this setup, we have our display product, etc. Then we have the background board and we have a reflector bounce board here. Then this is one light, but it's diffused a bunch. Again, I've linked that. This is my main strobe setup that I use. So it, since it's diffused, you will get really soft shadows, very clean image here. So that is the setup. Moving on to number three, this will be a constant setup, but it's going to be harsh light, so bare bulb. For this setup, we have the same situation with the the boards in the background and the reflector bounce and this time we're using the constant light at a high angle you put this wherever you desire your shadows to be for me this is what I was going for I wanted there to be some shadows but I didn't want them to be really long so I do have the light really really high up there and so this is this is the setup with one light constant harsh there's no reflectors or diffusion or any modifiers on this light. It is bare. Number four is a same setup, but using a diffuser of some kind. In this case, I used an umbrella. You can totally soften those shadows while still having them if you wanted to put some kind of a diffusion on your light. I just threw an umbrella up there for a demonstration, but any kind of modifier that you have that uses diffusion will achieve a similar a similar result. 
to achieve a very similar look, but the lights on the other side, just because that's where my window is, is this setup with a window and it is naturally diffused just because of time of day, so indirect light. For this setup, we're using natural light. I could diffuse it by pulling this curtain here that I keep just for that purpose, but um, right now it's already naturally diffused because it's not the optimal time to shoot through this window if I wanted direct light, so it is diffusing itself by being a few hours before optimal shooting time. Uh, the, the reflector bounce whatever is on this side because the light's on that side, and uh, this is this is the more natural light option. This will be very soft because like I said, it's diffusing itself naturally because it's the, the, the right time for diffused light and the wrong time for harsh, bright light coming through this window. So if I remember, then later I will shoot this again with the brighter, more direct light coming through in a couple hours. Going back to constants, we have a very sketchy setup with a constant light that is overhead. For this setup, we have a very sketchy situation because I <laughs> would normally hoist this up on a C-stand or something, boom arm, whatever, but uh, for the purpose of demonstrating this, I did not want to go through that effort. So apologies, and this is what I came up with. This is a very lightweight light. Um, to be fair, and I am balancing it on all of the boards, which are also my reflector bouncers in this setup. This is light coming from above, up top, and it is bouncing all of this light and giving us some soft yet defined shadows underneath each of these items. So that is this setup. We move outside during the peak 110 degree weather today. <laughs> Um, and it's it's direct light for this this first one. All right, I'm gonna make this quick because it is 110 degrees outside, so that's not good for the product. The cameras are me. This one is going to be harsh light, shooting straight like that. Same shot, but with a diffuser to soften those shadows. And then I take the whole setup into the shade. There's nothing else happening. I'm not reflecting anything. It is just the same exact scene as the other outdoor shots, but I just move everything into the shade, kind of right by the house. Coming back inside several hours later, the light is coming through the window at the right angle. And so I can get some harsh shadows, harsh light uh, with this direct light through the window. All right, I remember to do the direct lighting scenario with the natural light through the window, and uh, this is what that would look like. Then I shut the curtain. Easy peasy, diffuse the light with a curtain. And here is what it would look like with these um, curtains pulled, so it diffuses the light, softens the shadows, and adds an interesting kind of shadows texture to the whole scene. For our final two shots, I am shooting it on this table and I'm lighting the background and I'm lighting the product. So similar to our first shot, but instead of the light becoming the background, it is pointing at the background. For this setup, we are back to two lights. We have one hiding down here in a precarious way just for demo. That is lighting the background, and then we have the strobe again that is lighting the product. The only difference between these two is the source of the background light. A variation on that would be using the, this light instead of that light, and that one is much more dim, less power, however it's giving a more even distribution of light from one side to the next and I'm still using the strobe to light up the product. And that does it. So that's 10-ish, it ended up being 13, I think. Um, different, slightly different lighting setups for the same product scene, just to showcase variations on a theme. And hopefully that is helpful to you. I will do my best to leave links to everything. I do have an Amazon storefront in case you can't find something that I, probably forgot. Hopefully I have it in there and I will see you in the next video.